Hi, so today's video has come about because somebody has asked me if it's possible to alter one of the pre-installed designs that are in Scan & Cut Canvas Workspace. So I am in Canvas Workspace for web, so online. The project that the lady asked me about is this one here, the foil place card. So if I select this and open it in Canvas Workspace, you'll see that basically this is a table place card. It has a fold line going along the middle. You write the person's name here. This bit folds back and then this decorative bit stands up. And from what she's asking, she wants to make a rectangle label with this decorative design on either side. So she wants to get rid of the whole bottom half of this place card. If I have interpreted what she wants to do, I am going to attempt to show you in this video today. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a duplicate and just put it on one side. And then I'm going to use the magnifying glass and I'm going to zoom in on this section. The first thing I'm going to do is right click and ungroup or you can go to edit and ungroup from here. And then I'm going to move this out of the way and see what ungrouping leaves me with. So I can get rid of that. Then I'm going to do the same thing again. Right click and ungroup. And then move this. And then move this away and see what I get. So I can see that this section is one section. Here's the dash line, here's the cutout section, and here are the bits that hold the place card, which I know I don't need. So I'm going to select those and delete them. I'm going to get rid of the dash lines for now, because I can always draw them in again if I want to. I'm going to bring this back in and position it back where it was. Now, if I select this and try to right click and see if I can ungroup it again, it, there's no ungroup option. So I now know I've just got two elements, this element and this is all one. So if I double click on this main blue section, this will bring up the editing nodes. If I choose one of these nodes and hit delete, nothing really happens. So I'm gonna keep choosing them to see what happens. So now this has selected this line for me, so I'm going to hit delete. I'm going to select another one and hit delete and select this one and hit delete and then click away. So I'm now left with all these bits and this top frame. Now, I think what she wants to do is weld this to the top and bottom of a rectangle, but I don't know what size. So I'm just going to show the principles and hopefully if she watches this video, she'll get an idea of how to do it and then she'll be able to adjust it to her own size. Now, this is an open line and you can't weld an open line to a rectangle. And by that I mean it's got no, it, it starts here, goes all the way around here and finishes here. There's nothing on the bottom to weld it. So the first thing I'm going to do is come over here to the path tool and I'm going to come over to this end and you'll see a black square appears. I'm going to left click once, 
drag my line out and get to the other side and when I see that box I'm going to double click to anchor it and then I'm just going to click anywhere on the page to deselect. I'm going to double click on the original outside line to show the nodes and what I want to do is just drag an imaginary box around these bottom two nodes and hit join and then click away. So that should now have joined this line to this corner. And you can now see it's a solid shape. So now I'm going to select everything and I'm going to bring it down. And then I'm going to remove the blue parts for now. So when I click on here, it's selecting the whole outline. So I'm going to right click and send that to the back and then click on the blue bit and drag that out of the way. I'm going to create a duplicate of this by right clicking and hitting duplicate. And then I'm going to rotate the duplicate by holding my shift key down. So that'll keep it perfectly level. And I'm going to bring it down and position it over this rectangle and do the same with this one. Only I need to get rid of that line it's left from where I welded this together. So I'm just overlapping slightly with both of them and I'm going to drag an imaginary box around just these three elements. I'm going to go to edit and center and that will center this decorative element at the top and bottom with the rectangle and now I should be able to weld it. So I'm going to right click and hit weld and that has now welded that shape to the rectangle. So if I bring back this, I can position that, I can duplicate the blue element by right clicking and hitting duplicate, bring it down, hold my shift key down, rotate it and bring it down into position. And again, I can select one of the blue parts, hold my shift key down, select the other and go edit center and it will just center them up and then click away. And then if I'm happy with how that looks, so long as the blue elements are on top of this now welded shape, I can select everything and go edit, subtract, and that will punch those blue elements out of this shape and this is now all one shape. And if I fill it with colour, you'll see what I mean. I'll make the outline the same colour. So that's how to create an alternative shape from this. Now, as I say, I don't know if that's what the person wanted, but if not, at least it shows you how you can create something else from a design that is already in Scan and Cut Canvas online. So I hope the video helped. Please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to make sure you're subscribed with the bell notification icon on, and I'll see you in the next video.